What's up, what's up, what's up? It's me again, Wolfwood, and I am back yet again with another insane build for you guys. This build is so insane, it will eventually get patched. It's just ridiculous. But before we begin, just a quick disclaimer. I make unorthodox builds, and the builds you will see on my channel are mostly non-meta builds. I just love making builds, and I'm just sharing them with you guys. Alright, so enough with the intro, let's check on the build. So I call this build the infinite black hole build. So basically, we're just spamming black holes using the mono rail gun. Now for those who don't know yet, overcharging the mono rail gun will create a black hole that will instantly kill you. But I was able to figure out a way on how to prevent that from happening. Now clearly, this is something not meant to happen. And if not fixed, will basically break the game. So today, I'm sharing this with you guys. And hopefully, you can use it, have fun with it before it gets patched. Alright, so apart from the main weapon, Monorail Gun... The base build requires three key components. First is the amulet, which is the hangman's noose. Then the engineer archetype with the impact cannon skill. Then lastly, the anguish handgun. All three must be in the build or the build will not function properly. Alright, so let me explain. I was originally working on a Grey Health build with the Hangman Snooze Amulet. Then by accident, I triggered something very unusual and appears to be a bug or glitch in the game. So while wearing the amulet and deploying the impact cannon, my HP drops to zero, then after a few seconds, the game will bring me back to the world stone like I was dead. So let me show you. So here I deployed the uh, impact cannon and you'll notice that my HP dropped to zero. Then after a few seconds, which I estimated to be around 14 or 15 seconds, the game will bring me back to the world stone just like that so I later found out that when I'm in that specific state when my HP is down to zero that I'm basically invulnerable I cannot die from any attacks but it's only good for 15 seconds then eventually I was able to figure out a way to extend the time limit indefinitely. So there's actually two ways on how to do it. So the first one is by charging the anguish gun and it basically resets everything back to normal. By doing so, I can repeat the process and extend the 15 second window where I'm invulnerable again. All right, so let me show you. So as you can see, after deploying the impact cannon, my HP drops to zero. And while in this state, the game thinks I'm dead. So it's going to bring me back to the world stone unless I would use my anguish, charge it, and this will bring everything back to normal. In this state, the game thinks I'm alive again. It means it won't bring me back to the world stone. Alright, so I'd like to point out as well that whenever I'm in the dead state, I will literally become invisible. The enemies won't see me. The uh, enemies will ignore me. Even the bosses. Now, if you look closely at the upper right corner of the screen, you'll see me there as the yellow icon in the map. Once I activate the dead state, I will disappear from the map and will become invisible. So 
So you'll notice that after activating the dead state, um, I disappear from the map and I'm now invisible. I'm invulnerable as well. Now, activating the anguish will bring everything back to normal. Alright, so we're going to test it out with some enemies. So here you'll notice that the enemy can see me right now. But as soon as I activate the dead state, the enemy will stop shooting. Just like that. It's now ignoring me. Now I'm back to the normal state. Enemies can see me again. Until I activate the dead state again. Alright, so the other method of extending the dead state time limit indefinitely all you have to do is play co-op by doing so the game will think one player is alive and won't bring you back to the world stone so this means as long as the second player is alive your dead state will be active indefinitely but this also means that once the second player dies everyone dies including yourself you will automatically be brought back to the world stone all right so now for the rings you can actually wear any rings you want but here you'll see i went for movement speed and decreased charge time so by wearing feathery binding ring it will decrease your fire charge time by 10 percent and is doubled when haste is active and by wearing painless obsidian ring, this will provide you haste when gray health is present. And since we're using the hangman snooze amulet, haste will be active uh, all the time. Next will be breach accelerator ring. This will increase your movement speed by 5% and is also doubled when haste is active. And rock of anguish ring will increase your movement speed by 5% and further increases for every 25% of max health is missing. Now for our weapons, we're going to use Mono Rail for our primary, equipped with Supercharger Mutator. This will decrease the charge time by 30%. You can use any melee weapon you want, but here I'm using Dark Matter Gauntlets with the Volatile Strike Mutator which will um, allow me to inflict explosive damage once every one second and anguish with the kill switch mutator which creates an explosion whenever i switch to this weapon can only happen once every 10 seconds for our armor set it doesn't matter what you wear since we are invulnerable you can choose to wear the light armor or heavy armor if you want but here I'm using the nanoplated set and uh, I'm using the tranquil heart. It doesn't matter what you use. But for the primary archetype, I chose warden for the shields. All right, so for the fragments, you will need to prioritize um, explosive damage, movement speed and firearm charge time. And finally, these are for my traits. Alright, so before we end the video, just some important notes you have to remember. Make sure you always turn off the dead state before entering doors or portals. This may cause some issues like falling down uh, the map. Also, when you are in the dead state, you cannot interact with anything. You cannot pick up ammo, you cannot open chests, cannot check inventory not even your quick slots but going back to the normal state will allow you to do all of those lastly make sure 
not to accidentally kill your teammate or you'll end up going back to the world stone all right so that's our build for today i hope you like the build i hope you like the video if you have questions about the build just write them down in the comments below i'll be more than happy to answer your questions and for those who are new uh, don't forget to subscribe hit the like button this will help me and my channel grow and hope to see you all next time bye